Welcome to today's brief presentation looking at some of the features of HP Service Manager's self-service portal. Here I am logging in as Miss Jennifer Falcon. When I log in, you can see here that I have several tabs available to me. One allows me to request a service that I might want and the second one here, the support tab, will let me request support. That's what we're looking at here today. If I click on support, I can then browse the catalogue to see what type of support issue I might like to raise. In this demonstration, I'm choosing an item under the hardware list. I'm selecting return faulty equipment. Once I choose an item from the catalog, it then the system then prompts me to add some details about my issue. I'm just entering some dummy information here for the purposes of the demonstration. When I click on the next button, the system then prompts me for details about myself. By default, it picks up my name from the contact record. It also defaults to a contact method of email, which I can change if I so wish. Once I click on next, I then have the option to add an attachment. I could add a log file or a screenshot or some, some such other file. I'm not going to bother adding an attachment here. I'm going to click on submit and now the system provides me with a unique reference for the issue that I have just raised. I can then call my support desk, my service desk, to find out what's happening with this particular issue or I can always look at the details of it for myself from this self-service portal. Here you can see underneath my requests the service requests I have and the support requests. If I drill down here to look at the open support requests here in the top of the list you can see the support request that I just raised. By clicking on view, I can see the details of this and at any point I wish to, I can add an update or if I want to, I can actually close this if the issue no longer exists for me. But what, what is happening with this issue I raised? Well, let's go over to the life of the service desk agent. Here I am logged in as a service desk agent. And if I look at this particular queue of incidents raised in the last six hours, you'll see the issue that I just demonstrated raising, the one where my equipment requires a new part. The service desk can now provide extra details to add to this particular request that was raised. Here I am adding some priority and categorization and service details. I can also update this if there's some information I want to add, either to go to the fulfillment team or perhaps even back to the person who raised this, Miss Jennifer Falcon. One of the other things the system does is it automatically raises a work order which will be sent to to the correct fulfillment group to ensure that this task or this request is dealt with immediately. If I drill down here we can see that this has gone to my demonstration work order fulfillment assignment group. This group then get, then, can then add their own details about, for example, how much time they've spent getting to the 
getting to resolve this particular issue or to fulfill whatever is required to resolve it. Here, for example, underneath the Field Services tab, I can specify where I've had to order or request new parts. For example, I'm just going to populate here that I'd like to add a new hard drive and the date I need to this part is by tomorrow and I could add a description as to why I need this part. I can also specify the quantity of parts I require. I can include some other information, plans I have, what's actually occurred, transfer orders, and some generic information here underneath the update type as to what I have done, the actions I have taken and so on. Once I've completed any information and I feel that the job has been done, I can click on Close Work Order and enter a closure code and some comments. This is now resolved. And then close the work order. This will automatically close the incident that was raised, which the service desk team are using to communicate with the end user, and it will also send a notification to the end user, Miss Jennifer Falcon, to tell her that her issue is resolved. And that completes the workflow of the incident that was raised. Thank you so much for your time today.